Welcome everybody to your ninth Photoshop tutorial. Last time we talked about how to repair a basic image and this time I'm going to be going over the wand and quick selection tool. Now the magic wand and quick selection tool are located right here or you can click W as a hotkey. And what the magic wand tool does is wherever you click on your image it samples that pixel color and selects the range of colors similar to that pixel. So for instance, say we clicked right here on this white petal. What the magic wand tool will do is select all the colors similar to white. Now how you define your range of colors is located up here. The tolerance. The lower number you have from 1 to 100, the less range it selects. For example, if you had 10 and you selected the flower, as you can see, I only selected the whites that were very closely related to that. But if you had a color such as 95, as you can see, it selects almost the entire flower. Now you have a couple other options here called the anti-alias and the contiguous. What the anti-alias does is soften the edges when selecting your colors. And what the contiguous does is allow you to either select the colors that are directly touching that color or select the colors that are somewhere off in that image but still related to the color. Now while this is useful we have an even more useful tool and this is called the quick selection tool. Now this is a lot similar to the magic wand tool. Right here you have three options. New selection, add to selection or subtract from selection. When you start out you always want to click new selection and as you can see like the magic wand tool it allows you to click and go over and sample any of the colors. As you can see we can select piece by piece the white flower. Any pieces that we missed. Now if you selected too much or too little right around the edges there's one thing you can do right up here is a button that's called refine edges yeah. it gives you plenty of options to refine them. as you can see you have many options down here to view the background so you can more clearly see your edges and all of these options let you define how much of the edge you want to use the radius is for softening the edges much like the anti-alias tool. The contrast removes anything fuzzy, any pixels that might be around your image, just like contrast, basic contrast. The smoothness also erases any jagged edges that might be around your image. And this is helpful when you want to smooth it out. And as you can see, of the image will begin to feather in. It's slightly contrast when you have a ring of color outside your image that you don't want. If you don't want quite as much as your image selected or you want a little more around it, you can anything you didn't grab with a quick select. And once you got those all set, you can just press OK. But say you selected something that you didn't quite want to select. Right here, you would use this tool called the subtract from selection and say alright I wanted this white flower but I didn't want this seedlings in the middle or whatever they are and as you can see so we can get a better picture of the background I didn't select it all the way due to time but as you can see we began to remove that middle by using the delete from selection tool and just a couple hotkeys I want you guys to remember, remember they're very useful when dealing with these tools. Anytime you want to deselect an image, you can hold in Control D. As you can see, my entire image was deselected. Now, anytime you accidentally deselect an image and you want to reselect it, you hold down Control and Shift and press D. As you can see, what we just deselected is now reselected. This is pretty helpful in case you make a mistake and you want to reselect your image. 
and to select the entire inverse or the opposite of what you already have selected all you need to do is hold down control shift and press I as you can see we now have a border of what they're called marching ants around the entire image and what this does is allow us to select the inverse of the image now this is all helpful helpful when you want to take out part of an image very quickly and say if you want to paste it on another piece so now that we learn how to use the magic wand and quick selection tool to select an image quickly the next section we're going to be covering is masks now this is a very important topic and it's a lot better way of selecting your image and of course if you miss anything I talked about today you can go to my website thenewboston.com and I'll give you a step-by-step -step examples and instructions about everything I talked about thank you